Hey there friends, uh, welcome to another one of my videos. In today's episode, uh, we're going to be tearing down this um, old deck that was previously built with regular lumber and it was getting rotten like in less than a year. So we're gonna tear this out and install a concrete slab. Uh, it'll be 25 by 13 and um, it's gonna be stamped concrete. Uh, the um, design uh, will be Arizona flagstone, which uh, it's similar to the rocks you see down there. Uh, it's gonna make that pattern. Once concrete is complete, we cover it to protect it. We also square up um, 23 by 11. That's our outline gonna be. And uh, we set the posts on a six by six uh, post brackets. Um, the treated lumber is not supposed to touch the concrete so it can last longer. It's uh, supposed to go on these uh, brackets. We begin the installation as you can see we finished putting all our bases and uh, now we begin with the posts holding them uh, with braces uh, just one brace on each side uh, it'll hold it until we get the top beams which are gonna hold the roof we are gonna be using two, uh, 2x12s with uh, half inch plywood in the middle so it can become stronger and uh, give us those three inch and a half I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your support in this channel and also um, I have also make these videos in Spanish uh, for my Spanish channel check out my uh, description um, and you'll be able to, to see it in, in, uh, in Spanish. We attach the 2x12s together. Um, with the half inch uh, plywood in the middle we leave it two inch gap um, so the other two two by twelves that go against it that join it um, is gonna is gonna go right in there well we're finally done with the frame as you can see the two by twelves are uh, put together and uh, now we start with the with the roof process we put the braces uh, something very important is to have the posts level and all the corners level and uh, that's how you uh, hold them with braces we start with the rafters uh, to get the measurements of the rafters i use an uh, an app uh, i will leave the name in the description and uh, you can check it out. It's a really great app that uh, I used and, uh, and this rafters came, uh, came out just perfect. On the rafters, we use two by two by sixes, which is a recommended one. Hips and for the ridge, we will be using two by eights, uh, which are stronger because they're gonna be the ones holding the weight. We begin the installation of the plywood and uh, covering the fascia with 1x8 cedar board. We're gonna be covering this um, gazebo with cedar board all around uh, which is the soffit, the fascia and the posts. Something I would advise is to make sure and grab straight boards because um, they tend to get crooked pretty easy and especially cedar. 
on the roofing part we install the drip edge and uh, we're just matching the shingles with the with the shingles on the house After completing the roof, we begin the installation of the soffit. Right here, we had to add another 2x4 so we could put a 1x12 um, right there in the soffit part because we had a little bit bigger gap and that way it'll, it'll be just perfect. Something I would like to emphasize about is um, that you're supposed to use stainless steel screws on the on cedar. Um, something to do with the chemicals and with the other screws. You can already start seeing the beauty of this gazebo with this cedar loop. And now uh, we're starting to cover it from the top to the bottom. We begin installing the trim parts, which is um, we rip them, we rip them uh, about uh, three inches to cover the little gaps, and that will give it a better look, and it'll make it stand out. I start cutting the corner supports which are gonna make it look way better and uh, give a support. We use 2 by 8 and uh, we just cut them uh, on an angle with the jigsaw. And we're also going to be covering them in cedar on, with 1 by 8 cedar. To cover the posts, we installed a half an inch plywood on one side so all of the sides will look similar to the rest of the sides. We might have to rip some, maybe one quarter of an inch or one eighth so it can look uh, more closer to each other. Don't forget to pre-drill before uh, drilling this, before installing these screws, because otherwise it'll crack uh, that uh, cedar. We install the corner support supports with five-inch screws, and uh, right here we just use a one by four cedar to do the the arch on the corner pieces. Well, that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, i'll be seeing you soon